So again, you don't want the you don't want this all, I don't know if you can see that, you don't want this all the way, you see how there's a little gap at the bottom there? That's desirable. You don't want it forced all the way down to the motor because again, you don't want to cause drag. So we like a nice tight fit on those because it's very important that this not slip. Um, one of the most common, uh, well, I don't know, one common uh, thing that happens to these sometimes is it'll skip a step. Now it could skip a step because it's actually the belt's jumping. Um, but more often than not, you'll find that it's slipping on the shaft. So this screw will come undone uh, or loosen enough so that, you know, it kind of slips. So we've started to flat all our motors. And it's funny, in this example, that is not f flatted. And what do I mean by flat, flat the shaft? I'll grab a motor here. What I mean is <clears throat> you place this sucker in a vise. And I mean the top. Don't push this in a vise. Uh, that would be bad. Um, but this right here, you'll, you'll put in a vise. Yeah, let me make sure this is focused. OK. And uh, you'll squeeze the shaft, and you'll hold it there. Now, you'll want the top of the shaft to be just above uh, the, the plane of the vise. I don't know if you can see my example there. And then you'll actually go one direction with your file, and you'll scrape off the round until it's flat. Now when you do that, you want to make sure to protect, this is a steel shaft and we got magnets down in there. So what I do is I wrap a little piece of tape around. Now uh, you can get blue tape or I use masking sometimes. And this protects the the little scrapings that you're going to scrape off. And again, it has to be in a vise, um, but I didn't want to take the camera over to the vise or bring the vise over. And then you'll go in one direction I kind of go to a little angle. Now I'm not doing it hard here. I really get into it on when I'm doing it on the vise, but you'll flat your motor. And then that flat spot is where you'll want to put this screw. So it holds itself much better on a flat surface than round. So that's the deal there. So this uh, this belt threads in just like this. And once we get this belt threaded, then we'll be able to put the top on and I kind of pull that through there we go and you got to do this before you put the the bed down here and then it'll move like this kind of cool so that's what that mechanism is all about now we're up to about 17 minutes 17 and a half minutes um, let's see, what else have I forgotten? Oh, uh, the top of the shaft, um, you got to watch to make sure it's not going to scrape on the bed. These, these motors, oddly, sometimes I run into motors that have shafts that are longer than they should be and it'll scrape on the top. So if you have to um, grind down the top of that, you know, you can. Um, I, don't, I don't think you'll need to. But I have seen some motors with very long shafts and it scrapes on the top and I'm getting drag. Um, so, real quick, I'm going to go ahead and try to put these together. I'm just, just going to make sure these are nice and clean so my screws drop in real nice. All right, so the belt clips. Um, truthfully, you can go either direction. Uh, the hook can be in or out. Uh, you might just take a look at what you've got before you make that decision. Maybe you want it one way, maybe you want the other. But the one thing that I do recommend is keep them the same way. And what I mean by that, before I put that on, the hook is on the, is on the inside, like so. So I'm going to keep it on the inside on this side as well. And these you might have to um, you might have to clean out a little bit to make sure you've got enough width in there. If, again, the bottom of the print squishes out a little bit, so we've had to carve down the inside just a little bit to get that squished out layer to uh, give us some room. 
in there. These are three quarter screws. Kind of awkward. Now they do need nuts on them. Probably could have used half inch screws now that I look at it. Now we got a train coming. We're right by the train tracks. So enjoy that train as it goes by. <laughs> oh, get its horn. Yeah, definitely a half inch would work here. Whoops. Come here. Let's steal these guys. It is kind of tight on this part, so I'm going to back it out a little bit before I put that on. Trying to feel my way through it. There we go. I've never heard the train honk that many times. Again, see, I've got uh, very little room, so I'm going to back that out. It's really. If you hear it printed by HQ, you get to know the train pretty well. At some point, there'd be something that I couldn't quite get a hold of. Happened to be this screw. Now, some people like to use a lot of washers. I really don't. Um, I actually find it works fine without them. And in the spirit of the minimalist design here, I've really kept them to a minimum. I only include them if I feel like you really have to have them. Okay, finally. So we've got our belt clips on. We've got uh, everything ready to bolt these suckers down. And I'm going to just follow through with the whole build. If you're bored, skip it. <laughs> Don't be. Ah, it gets so hot. Don't be deceived here. Um, that's a little note, by the way. When you run a, a screw through that plastic, it's pretty tight. It'll heat up. I've burned myself a few times. Just it's so weird. Oops. Now, on the boards you get, they'll be a lot more meaty. This is kind of a flimsy little sucker. Um, not really sure why I'm using it. I like, I like the color of it. I don't know. I don't know why. We're not actually going to use this, but I'm going to. This might be one that we donate. I'll need to switch this board out, but you know it's late, and I grabbed what I saw. 23 minutes on this stage. I like to think I'm going slower than you have to, but uh, I don't know. It might, like, it might look like I'm going fast. I don't really know, but you know, I've had a lot of people ask me, can you really build these in two hours? And I just say, yeah, you, I can. <laughs> Whether or not, you know, when I was putting together my MakerBot, I took my time. So I wanted to get everything right. And even though I took my time, I still got some stuff wrong. I had to do it twice, you know. So I say go as slow as you need. Take your time. Enjoy it. It's part of the fun, I think. What is that? There's 
making a lot of noise. Even though it feels like it's got a lot of grip and doesn't need nuts on the bottom, you do need nuts on the bottom because that little guy is going to pinch closed and hold that bar in place. Now this is always kind of the test once you get it together um, to this stage. Is it going to move smoothly back and forth? Answer, yes.